It's running right now. It's pretty quiet. It's a nice washing machine. It's bigger than I thought. It's heavier than I thought, but it's got handles on the side, so it can be maneuvered pretty easily. One of the wheels were missing. Um, thinking maybe it came out in shipment because the bottom was already cut for me, so all I had to do was lift the top of the box off. <laughs> but it was easy to put together. I just have it attached to my bathroom sink and in my bathtub. And I leave my bathroom door open usually. But uh, just for sound quality, I wanted to leave it closed right now. But it's pretty nice, and the, 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 the motor seems to be pretty nice you can see inside of it and it's it's spinning it gets really it gets the clothes really dry I mean it doesn't take long for them to dry hanging up so <clears throat> that's what I do I just put them in there and I shake them out because I got a lot of dog and the, the filter and it works really nicely I'm gonna get a couple of floater ones because I have a dog and she sheds a lot she's a German Shepherd so it's one of the reasons I wanted to get my own washer, so I didn't ha get dog hair all over everybody's washing machines and dryers and our community washer and dryers. And the, for the money, I think I got a good deal. Well, I mean, don't raise your prices, Panda, just because of that, because I'm poor. I had to spend a lot of money to get this. <laughs> but it's worth it. It'll pay for itself in the long run. I love it. Thanks, Panda. And thanks, Amazon, for great delivery. Peace. This is the washer. Let me back up. I have it hooked up to my bathroom sink because I haven't bought the part for the kitchen sink. And this is what the inside of it looks like. I have it running right now. It's nice and big. It holds like half of one load of clothes. Half of just one load. And it goes down. I love how this like folds up like that. The detergent box. I've had this for about a month now and it's been doing me great so far. Now we unboxing it. We'll see what it really looks like. Oh man, looks like it does not have one single dent. You see any dents? No dents. I don't see no dents. Yay! I got it with no dents. So, in all, thumbs up. Amazing little washer. We got the Panda. We chose warm, large load, heavy soil. You got your power button here, your start and pause, your program, your load size, and whatnot. And if you push these little bad guys right here together, you get the child safety lock awesome so if you lift it while it's running you can see filling up quite nicely cute little lint trap right there works great give that a thumbs up moderate water flow that's okay um, I actually have six t-shirts in here right now which I could have probably put three more up oh, look that means it's done filling up, and I need to shut the lid because now it's not going to stop beeping until I shut that lid. We got her hooked up here. Yep, this is a little pretty cool. Vent. Here's your air vent. Let's see if we can get in there and watch her. Oh, I'm steaming up. I I used hot water. 
Nice little spin action there. Just watch, he's gonna go crazy. Yep. It's gonna shoot. In all, I love it. It was a great buy. I actually looked for quite some time before I made my purchase because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something I wasn't able to use. It wasn't going to be if wasn't going to be a you know efficient machine. This is efficient. It does exactly what I need it to do. And it, it spins amazing. So when the clothes come out, they go right into the dryer and they're done by the next time this load's done. So I just put a load in the dryer. That'll be done by the time this is done. It's great. It's constant rotation. It's perfect. Um, this is rated number one for RVs. I could have spent a little more, got a little bit maybe better of a brand, but for the money, this is awesome. It does 10 pounds of laundry. It's a 1.38 cubic feet. I like it. Yep, yep. Definitely a good buy. Here, I'll pause it for you guys. Pause it. Turn it on. Yep. Let me start it again. Let me show you what happens when you open it while it's running. Let's get it started again. There she goes. And watch what happens. So you know if it's running and your child opens it, that's going to beep. So you can hear it beep. Awesome safety feature. In all, great buy. Highly recommend it. I'm going to give you a quick review of my Panda portable washer. It's a 6360W. I love it. I've had it almost a month. Okay. This is the washer. I will show you how much space it takes up in my world, which is a lot because um, I have traveled for six years full time for work. So I live in a 23 foot travel trailer. Um, these are the controls. They're very simple and it's got a book that even explains them. Um, power, start, delay, program and water level okay you can pick the water level i almost always use it at four you can add a little water like you can do three and it'll let you hold that down and add water if you want to these are different standard ones i use the standard one most of the time which is a 45 minute cycle it's a wash and two rinses okay um it comes with a hose here's the power cord comes with the power cord obviously i plug it in right over here um i use a high efficiency detergent which is what they recommend you use um, and then here is their drain cord. It's attached and it comes with this as well. And it has that little crook in it already. This part attaches right here when you're storing it to the side of your washer. So it just stores there. And then you put that over your sink, or in my case, I put it over the shower. You can put it over the tub. Um, I have added these little, um, catchers on the end of the hose that are like additional filters because your washer doesn't get all of the lint out and it'll stop you from your drains. So I use those. Um, I'll probably review those too. I don't know if I'll put a video for them, but they're really good. They're really inexpensive and they just zip tie on and I usually use them for like 10 loads and then I throw them out. Um, this is a Ninja laundry alternative spinner. I use that as well. Um, totally separate from Panda, although I think Panda makes one as well. They just were out of it when I ordered my Ninja, and I really like it. That goes 3,200 revolutions per minute, so it spins things almost dry. 
this because it's a washer and has a spin cycle only that's 800 revolutions per minute so it doesn't make them quite as dry and since as you can see it takes up a lot of room in my life um, I want them to dry as soon as possible so I do that I can get these will usually dry in a couple hours if I do jeans they'll dry overnight um, so that works really well for me um, this is if you have a travel trailer and you're trying to decide how much room it'll take up it takes up a lot um, there you go here's my bathroom right takes up all the space there's my cat who decided she needed to be in the video um, there is the load of towels I just did all of those towels just came out of that machine and well they're clean except for the cat paw, paw prints on them um and those towels all came out of the machine and i still had room in the machine to wash um but i just didn't want to wash that much yet because i have a lot to dry yet um but that's where it takes up room some people i know that don't use their shower that use facilities as they travel instead store their washing machine in their shower um if you had a larger camper you could probably put it somewhere like technically there's room to put it between the bed and the wall but i just don't trust anything with water that much to where if it leaks you have to pull it out and have to try and fix it while it's pouring water everywhere um but there you go there's my review on it so far i love it i've had it almost a month and it has been a lifesaver especially during covid when i don't want to go to a laundromat